my boyfriend and I ran into his second grade teacher at McDonald's. <laughs> I literally cannot stop laughing about this, and it's killing me, so I had to share. Basically, the title sums up the beginning of the story. My boyfriend works at McDonald's, and when he gets off sometimes, I stop by to talk to him before he goes home. Well, while we were talking, suddenly someone called his name. Both of us turned, and he was like, Mrs. Name? <laughs> it's in parentheses. Yeah. We walked over, and he started talking to this random lady about how surprised he was to see her. Turns out, she was his second grade teacher who moved to Texas, while we live in the northern U.S., so Texas is quite a ways away, who had been driving through our town and just happened to stop at the right McDonald's at the right time to run into him. Talk about timing, coincidence, Literally. Fate. Wow. He introduced me, and I talked to her for a little bit, and then my boyfriend and, and the teacher told me that when he was in second grade, Every single time her husband would come into the room, he would <laughs> chant, kiss her, until the husband did. And while other kids said, ew, he apparently always cheered. Aww. Well, after we said goodbye, as we were walking away, the teacher and her husband rolled down their car windows and chanted, kiss her. Oh, and when he God. kissed me, they cheered. It was probably the most wholesome thing I've experienced in quite some time. <laughs> so cute. And so uh, the first edit, wow, thanks for the awards, guys. I've never had a post this big before. I'll have to share some of your kind comments with my boyfriend. Edit two, I just read some of the comments. For those wondering, my boyfriend and I are, are in high school. This would have been about eight years ago, maybe nine. I'm not sure, LOL. The fact that she was able to still recognize him, what an amazing teacher, yeah. memory. You know someone cares about their students if they can still recognize them eight years, ten years yeah. later. Like, what? I had a couple teachers like that for sure. So amazing. Edit three, I just read my post to my BF. He said, thanks for all the nice comments. He was surprised at all the attention this got, but we're both grateful. Thank you guys so much. So stinking cute. Uh, top comment. No wonder his second grade teacher still remembers him after all this time. <laughs> true. It's Very true. And the, the comment on this one, it's amazing how well teachers remember their students. I was on a webinar a few weeks ago when a familiar name popped up. A teacher who I had for a year in a single subject back in the mid-90s. So maybe two times... 40 minute periods a week for 30 weeks. And I was one of 20 kids in that class. He taught seven periods a day. Wow. He immediately messaged me to ask if I was the same person he had taught. He has a very recognizable name. Mine is pretty generic. He recognized my little YouTube avatar pic where I have a beard as me, small world. What? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my God, that's insane. I I feel like that with my patients though, and we've had a crazy experience here at my house where I live in a very secure building, you have multiple codes to get in, and somehow we had um, a few individuals like break into our lobby, and I walk, I like go down the elevator and I open the door and sitting on the floor. Well, we went down just to go grab something from the car. It was super late. Something. It was super late at night. It was like one thirty in the morning. And I needed something in my car. Yeah I, yeah, I don't remember what it was, but I was like, oh, yeah, it'd be great to grab that. And we get out of the elevator and the elevator door opens and I go, oh, my God. And sitting on the floor. Well, this guy literally turns, is sitting there, looks over and goes, Morgan? I was a deer in headlights. Froze, just frozen. I froze. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, are, are you good? Are you okay? He's like, no, I'm not good. And when it's so like out of context, like this is my home, this is where I live, and this was a patient that I had at like my psychiatric unit. Yeah. It was just like, oh my God. And that it wasn't him, my my patient that I was worried about. It was like the other guy that was in the lobby. And I was just like, oh, I was just like, it was just so crazy to like see someone that out of context. But like I remembered him. And I've I've had this experience where I've ran into a few of my past patients now. 
and I remember them and there's there's people that stick with you. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing how our brains remember faces and people. And I just heard something the other day and I don't know if this is true, so we should fact check. But apparently our brains don't have the capacity to come up with new faces. So whenever you dream and you have people in your dreams or faces or characters or whatever you want to call them, obviously there's people you know, but then like other other people you don't know that are in your dreams, like those are people you've seen that Weird. your brain that your brain is just like pulling from. Weird. Because apparently we don't have the ability to create new faces. But we should we should fact that, check that. No, the brain doesn't create faces in dreams. Every person you dream of has been someone you have either known personally or merely came across. Dreams are narratives that we visualize, experience, and feel in the deep phase of sleep or REM state. Uh, any other additional sources? Uh, really interesting question, but unfortunately it's an impossible question to answer experimentally. Mm. Um, so we have some mixed we have some mixed sources on this. Well, this is extremely long. Yeah. So to answer your question, because the vast majority of our dreams involve mundane elements from our waking life, it stands to reason that the strangers in our dreams also come from waking life, even if we don't recognize them in our dream. Certainly our brains are are capable of inventing a unique person, although even a unique creation would be composed of facial and body features that we've seen before. And there is nothing that would necessarily prevent a sleeping brain from doing so. However, based on what dreams are and where dream content comes from, it is more likely that the strangers in our dreams are a version of someone we've seen in our waking lives. Okay, so like partially true, true, kind of impossible to prove because we still, our brains are like the most complicated things ever. Like we still really don't understand how our brains function. Uh, Or just our bodies in general because if you have a thyroid problem, try finding a good doctor. Impossible. (laughs) Where was this uh, thing? Uh, You're probably on the same tab. Safari? Yeah. Back. Yep, there you go. Okay. Back to the story. There's just three comments. Okay. These are the cute moments that make life great. Seriously. Ha ha ha. So sweet. That's awesome. Funny story. I'm typing this as I'm on my way to work at McDonald's and seeing past teachers is always a very wholesome thing, Mm -hmm. especially given your guys' circumstances. That's the coincidence, fate of this experience slash run in. Like, so, so cool. I mean, I've had teachers that have definitely had a lasting impact on me for sure. Yeah. And there's moments where things will happen or off certain uh, decisions or circumstances in life. And some things that those teachers said or taught will come to mind. They definitely stick with you. And it would just be very cool to run into them in this type of situation where you both remember each other. Yeah. Because I get it as a, as a student, there's one teacher in the room. But as a teacher, you have there's like you have so many. However many people in the room depending so on the class and to just remember someone so specifically, especially in this funny of a context. Yeah. Like kiss her, the only kid who's not like, "Oh, cooties." Like, "Oh, gross." Yeah. And championing like love your wife, love the relationship. It's adorable. And then they flipped it back to kiss him her, just kiss her. Yeah. It's perfect. Amazing. You can't make this stuff up. 